Hello and welcome my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about formulation challenges in herbal products or herbal cosmetics. So let us now discuss in detail about what are the formulation challenges in formulating cosmetic or herbal cosmetics. So first of all we would discuss about formulation challenges for antioxidants and photoprotectives. photoprotectives. Antioxidant counteracts the harmful effects of reactive oxygen species and other free radicals whereas photoprotective, photo, photoprotectives reduces erythema, sunburn cells and immunosuppression caused by sunlight and DNA adduct formation. So uh, let us now uh, talk about herbal ingredients and the challenge about their formulation. Vitamin C and E. The challenge in formulating vitamin C and E herbal cosmetics are they are non-polar and prone to oxidation and therefore unstable. So uh, in the remedial form means in the form of remedy we can formulate them in the form of microemulsions. Another example is polyphenols Curcumin, silymarin, resveratrol, genistein, pomegranate fruit extract, all these herbal ingredients when we formulate we face a challenge, we face various challenges like high enough drug concentration for system, low poor solubility, poor absorption, rapid metabolism, thus low oral bioavailability. So these are the formulation challenges with these ingredients or herbal ingredients. So what approach we can use to uh, out overcome this problem? We can formulate them in the form of emulsion, transferosomes, gels, lipid nanocapsules, ultrasound technology, phytosomes, solid lipid nanoparticles and lipospheres. Another ingredient, herbal ingredient is Jinko. Jinko. Uh, the formulation challenge with this ingredient is poor permeation. So we can formulate them or we can use this approach to formulate them in phytosomes. Let us now discuss the formulation challenges for anti-aging cosmetics. What are anti-aging products or anti-aging cosmetics? They stimulate normal skin growth and cellular growth and repair, repairs the loss in tone and elasticity of the skin. They reverse the chemical changes that occur in collagen with aging and normalize the immune system. So what herbal ingredients are used as anti-aging cosmetics? First example is tetrahydrocurcuminoids. The challenge in formulating using this herbal ingredient is poor water and plasma solubility. So what approach we can use to overcome this problem? We can formulate them in liposomal form, phytosomes or nanoemulsion. Another example of herbal ingredient is alpha lipoic acid. The challenge is chemically liable. These are chemically liable, degraded easily and thus unpleasant odor. So the approach used to overcome this problem encapsulated, we can encapsulate them into solid lipid nanoparticles. Whereas in case of oleonolic extract, the challenge phased are waxy, these are waxy and viscous. For this we can use this approach by forming them in a transferosomes or microemulsions. Centella. The problem occurs while formation or formulating centella as a herbal cosmetic or in herbal uh, products. These are poorly absorbed because of the larger molecular size, poor lipid solubility, poor membrane permeability and reduced bioavailability. 
So to overcome these formulation challenges or formulation problems, we can formulate them in nanoemulsion, phytosomes or transferosomes. Let us now discuss the formulation challenges for moisturizers. What moisturizers do? Moisturizers causes excretion of cytokines which induces edema, vasodilation and frank inflammation, makes stratum corneum softer, fills spaces between the layers and reduces fine lines. So uh, herbal ingredients used as moisturizer is retinoids. The challenge in formulating retinoid herbal formulation, these are unstable, non-polar with poor permeation. So we can formulate them in microemulsion form. Aloe vera is another very popular and very uh, widely used herbal cosmetic or herbal ingredient is aloe vera. Nowadays this is very popular but the challenges faced during their formulation is these are waxy, poorly absorbed because of larger molecular size, poor lipid solubility, poor membrane permeation and reduced viability. So we can use this approach like transferosome gels, nano emulsions and phytosomes we can prepare or we can formulate herbal cosmetics using aloe vera by these approaches. Formulation challenges for anti-irritant and anti-inflammatory. Anti-inflammatory herbal cosmetics or herbal ingredients inhibits the release of histamine and relieves irritation. So what herbal ingredients are used as anti-irritant or anti-inflammatory? Coriander seed oil. But the challenge is in formulation of these oils are or these herbal cosmetics are highly volatile and unstable. So we can use this approach to overcome this problem. We can uh, formulate them in nano capsulation or nano capsules or solid lipid nanoparticles. Whereas bisabolol, it is a highly viscous ingredient herbal ingredient so to formulate them we can formulate them in phytosomes or transferosomes formulation challenges for anti irritant and anti inflammatory in the continuation cucumber it is a volatile in nature so uh, we can use them or formulate them in emulsion or transferosome. There are various marketed products, marketed herbal products like in the form of these approaches we have discussed earlier in the uh, just last slides. Liposome, uh, these effects are for whitening. The active ingredients used in the form of this liposome is 2% citrus extracts. Whereas silibrin extracts is formulated in the form of phytosome, it acts as an antioxidant. Sunflower, vitamin E, vitamin A, agar white, these all are used as antioxidant and formulated in the form of lipospheres. Whereas there are a lot of nanoparticles are in the market for anti acne properties means herbal anti acne product in the form of nanoparticle uh, whereas they use or they utilize the ingredient they contain vitamin E as their herbal ingredient in the formulation. For vitamin preparation, we can uh, encapsulate or there are various formulation in the market in the nano capsule form containing vitamins for suns, sunscreen purposes or sunscreen preparations.
mineral oil, aloe vera, gelatin. These all active herbal ingredients are used in a pearlescent beads or formulated in a pearlescent pearl beads used as moisturizing purpose or moisturizers are available in the market. And uh, the most popular ginseng, alpha, bisabolol, vitamin A and vitamin E are available in the market as nanosomes used for anti-aging purpose or anti-aging herbal products. Other challenges faced apart from these challenges there are also other challenges like natural there are different types of natural natural identical semi natural naturally derived thus consumers want it but no technical understandings technical challenges uh, for raw materials when we talk about raw materials there are various technical challenges like shorter half life different sensorial performance natural is not always safe for example, aloe in, in aloe vera, quality, freshness, storage conditions are king. <laughs> Oxidation, batch to batch variations and microbial content. Essential oils, adulterations with synthetic and even naturals. Price, availability especially for organic raw materials. These all are technical challenges faced during the formulation of herbal products. Technical challenges for finished products, oil based products suppose such as massage oils, face oils, balms, 100% organic claim, uh, shampoos and bath products, green surfactants available but viscosity and performance can be tricky. Many brands use semi-naturals, SPF without nanotechnology it is impossible at the moment. Marketing challenge. Consumers find it difficult to spot the fake natural from the original one. For example, purely based on natural key ingredients rather than the whole product. Efficacy claims can be limited because of ingredients restriction linked to certifications. There can be a conflict between looking premium and being truly green. So this was all about the formulation challenges of herbal cosmetics. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel Pharma Wins and press the notification bell or bell icon for such type of educational videos. So thank you for watching this video.